Louisville Metro Corrections officers say Mayor Greg Fisher is only making things worse at the downtown jail. WDRB's Monica Harkins explains the fragile situation that officers say is nearing its breaking point. Monica? <laughs> Louisville Metro Corrections officers say they're doing everything they can to bring attention to the crisis they say that's going on inside the jail. Now officers contractually can't go on strike, but they tell me if they could, they would have been along a picket line a long time ago. I, w I was livid to say the least. It's a slap in the face. On Tuesday, a mega majority of Louisville Metro Corrections officers voted they have no confidence in the department director, Dwayne Clark. The jail has been dealing with a number of issues, including overcrowding and a shortage in workers. Shortly after the vote, Mayor Greg Fisher's office released a statement saying the vote is disappointing and the mayor won't be removing the director. Basically says, I don't care what all you say. I believe this one guy over the almost 300 that said otherwise, and that is unacceptable. Mayor Fisher is showing that he is not concerned at all about the livelihood of the inmates and the officers, and that should concern every citizen of Louisville that voted for him. WDRB News caught up with Mayor Fisher Wednesday, and he stood his ground. So to think replacing one person is going to solve all these problems that are happening all over America is just simplistic. It doesn't work that way. I wish it worked that way. Meanwhile, corrections officers say the director should be held responsible for allowing the jail to get to this point. If we could strike, it would have happened already. Corrections officer Benjamin Bowman says the union for the jail contractually can't walk out because of the inmates. And the only reason he's not looking for a new job is because of his background in the Navy. In the Navy, you always say a good sailor never abandons a sinking ship. And that's unfortunately where I'm at. And it's a struggle. And I feel I might be one of the only ones there who still wants to stick around. Mayor Fisher says corrections officers should recognize the officer shortage is happening nationwide. So we got to drop the war words, work together, focus on the incentives that we put in place. Caitlin Wilkinson says it's not enough. I think the mayor needs to come in and work a post at the jail and see what it's really like. She's one of more than 100 officers who say they're actively looking for a new job. The Corrections FOP president says now they hope that met the mayor, excuse me, FOP Corrections president says now they're hoping they can put pressure on the Metro Council so they can try and persuade the mayor to do more. Live in Louisville, Monica Harkins, WDRB News.